Welcome to our series of V5.2 introductory guides. This video demonstrates the basics of working with our new Stereo 3D tools. Version 5.2 gives the user the ability to build multi-layer timelines combining Stereo 3D and or monoclips. The Stereo track is now recognised as a single video layer, with the left and the right eyes combined. In order to combine a left and a right eye on the desktop, you simply take the right eye, press Ctrl and Shift, and drop the right eye onto the left eye clip. If the clips can be combined into a stereo clip, then you get a blue border around the destination clip. On each stereo segment, you will be able to see metadata for each of the eyes. This will include originator ID, in time code, out time code, pixel aspect, and size. If I right click on a segment, I am given a number of stereo options. The first feature is a swap eyes feature. This allows the user to swap the left and the right eye rushes in a segment, including the settings. The next feature allows the user to split the left and the right eye rushes of a segment. The left and the right part of the current video are split, and two new clips are created with these segments and are placed on the desktop. The Slip Eyes feature allows the user to slip the left or the right eye of the current segment, in order to fix any timecode or syncing errors. Stereo clips can also be assembled directly on the timeline. If you have a left eye clip on the Edit or MLTFX timeline, you can take the right eye clip, hold the Control shift keys, and drop the clip onto the timeline. The two eyes will then be combined into a stereo clip. The same stereo options as shown before are available with a right click on the timeline. Left or right eye selectors are available on the timeline. These allow the solo or muting of either eye, eye selection for taking into effects for paint, and video guide comparison. Within the clips bin, it is possible to take a stereo clip and split the segments. When split segs and then stereo are selected, each of the left and the right eye segments are put into separate folders. If there are any mono segments in the timeline, these will be added into the root folder of your stereo clip. Video stretch is now also available for stereo clips. Click on video stretch, enter the time or speed you would like to stretch to, and click render. As the render happens, the preview is updated only for the left eye. Once the render is done, the save and the edit buttons are visible. You can hit save to copy the new 3D stretch clip to the desktop. You've been watching one of our new version 5.2 introductory guides. Thanks for watching.